Hi, welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Magic's Movie Edit Pro film templates. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder, and inside this folder, I've got these 12 video clips, and they're just things that I've created in Blender over the past year. I've been playing around with Blender. If you've been checking my main YouTube channel, I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description uh, where you can find lots of different tutorials on a wide range of subjects. So one of those subjects was looking at Blender and I was learning how to use it myself. And as I was learning, I was sharing that knowledge by creating these videos of different things to do with smoke and fire and sci-fi and all these different things. So I want to use these clips and create a little um, movie clip out of them using Magic's film template. So let's open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro. So I've got a blank project loaded up here. It's at 1080p resolution. So what we do is go ahead and click on templates here. And inside the template section, you'll see an option as you scroll down you'll see an option movie templates and editing templates and we'll click on film template basic here this one right here when we click on that we get all these different options of these different pre-built templates and I found it's quite interesting that we can use these to quickly build um, a little video sequence and it's very much drag and drop and very minimum effort you could say so let's drag this one it's called outer space nebula and we drag it onto the timeline so Magic's going to prepare the file, it's going to do all of the hard lifting for us, right? It's going to make the sequence, it's going to do all of the audio and everything for us. And all we've got to do is just use our content to fill in the gaps. So once this is loaded up, it will sequence everything in order. So at the top here, you've got a green square, it's pre-selected. So when you click on it, it will go green. And it just says intro title. It's asking us for a title here. I'm just going to type in DCP Web Designers. That's the name of my company. And then it's asking me for scene three placeholders. So I'm going to click on this first one, this first placeholder, and we'll go to open up this folder. And let's drag this first video clip into here. So we have to be a little bit patient, give it a few seconds, and then that clip will appear here. Now the clip is seven seconds in duration. So we can drag the clip here. We can drag it across the timeline to decide where do we want to start and stop that clip. So I reckon we'll drag it to um, somewhere around, let's say around here something like this so that's what that would be like the first frame there we can give it a title so let's just call this blender i'm just going to call it blender 01 right i'm going to make it a little bit easy for myself and then we'll click on the second clip here and we'll drag that second video in and that one will be loaded in and when we click on it we'll be able to move the timeline and decide do we want to start at the beginning or the end this one i want to start towards the end of the clip right i want it to finish towards the end and we just need to type in a title here. Uh, let's just drag this this way. Let's drag it towards the end of the clip. Uh, let's say around here. So that would be like the last frame you can see there. And we'll press, we'll paste this in. We'll call it Blender 02. Let's drag in the third one. We can just drag it down here actually. And that will add the third clip. And we'll call that one blender 03 and again you can drag across this timeline to find out where you want to position um, the sequence right so now we can move down the template you can add more in between by clicking the plus button and then it will add another sequence then you can delete if you don't want that many you can just start deleting them for now I'm just going to delete this whole block so you can add more elements to the block if you've got more content right just by clicking the plus button this here we've got another three here three more three more and then one ending. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So we've got 12 to fill. Let's fill these out quite quickly. Let's drag them in. And then we'll render this out and see what it looks like. So I might just drag these in. Like this. So we've got three more here. Let's click on this one. Let's call this one Blender 3. This one will be called Blender 4. I'm not going to worry too much about the timeline here. I'll leave you to experiment with that, but you can just drag it. Remember, there's seven seconds in duration, so my clips are longer than that. That's why you need to drag and reposition it if you feel to do so. You don't have to. You can drag it across here, and you can change where it stops and starts. So let's move down. We've got three more to do here, so let's drag this one. We'll drag the next one. And then finally one more. Let's click on this first one here. 
and did I drag them in the wrong place? I think I did, right? Uh, let's see, I dragged this one, <clears throat> this one here. So this will, that was six. So this will be Blender seven. This one will be Blender eight. This one will be Blender nine. And then we'll move down to this section here. We've got the last three to do, so let's drag this one. You don't have to actually drag it to that box, you can just drag it to the bottom here. And Blender kind of, well, this software will understands that it's got to move to the next uh, point on the timeline. So it will move to that position. So although it looks like it may have dragged them here, it's actually placed them right down here, right? So this will be number nine, so this is going to be number 10. This one will be 11. And this final one will be 12. So these little titles will actually get shown in the animation sequence. This one will be 12. And then we need a um, we need a uh, outro, right? Some text for the outro. So I might just put in DCP Web Designers again. Don't really have to do anything else. Let's just click Reapply. This will just make sure everything is applied correctly. And everything is here. Let's see, this one's missing for some reason too here. Uh, maybe I didn't drag enough of them. We might be able to just get rid of this. I think this was an accident. So let's close this. Yep, that was just, a, I dragged it twice by accident. So let's click reapply. Let's just check it. So we've got the intro, we've got three videos here. Let's see if there's one here. Yep, there's one there. We've got three here, three here. Let's just make sure this is one correct. Yep, that's okay. We've got three here, and then we've got the outro text. So you can apply whatever text you want on the intro, whatever you want on the outro. Once you're finished, done, done with your sequencing, you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and click this tick button. When you tick that, it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? Because you're about to commit to this. You're going to commit to it, right? So you can't undo this afterwards. So we'll click, um, when I say you can't undo it, it's just going to sequence all of this content for you. So you can't change this particular sequence. But you can remake it again and change it if you want to. So you really need to be quite sure that you're happy with everything in here. We'll click yes. And now Magix has sequenced all of the content for us, right? You can see this nice little intro, DCP Web Designers. And then you've got the titles here and you've got these like little laser thing popping out with the text. It says Blender 01. This one will say Blender 02. This one will say Blender 03. So my computer is a little bit too slow to play this out um, in real time. So what I'll do is pause this video. I'm going to render out this sequence and then we can actually check the video and see what it looks like. Okay, so Magix has finished exporting all of that video clip. So let's click on the OK button here and we'll minimize all of this. And on my desktop, I created this folder here. And inside this folder, we can see the video clip right here. Okay, let's load up that video clip and let's check out what Magix has done with our video content.
Okay, so overall I think Magic Smooth Edit Pro done a really good job creating that video sequence using the clips that I created using Blender. Uh, we used the film template to create that animation sequence. I quite like how it was sci-fi and a lot of the video clips in there that I created in Blender were sci-fi related. It kind of works well together. But you can see the power of using those video templates, how you can create content quite quickly and upload it to your YouTube channel or share it with your friends and family, maybe upload it to Facebook as well. And you can sequence that video content just by using those predefined templates. So you can do this sort of work using something like Adobe After Effects. By all means, you could do something very, very similar, but it would be a lot more time consuming to do something like that in Adobe After Effects. But we'll be looking at After Effects and looking at creating more complex animations, more custom built animations using After Effects. But Magic Smooth Edit Pro, the film templates are a nice, quick, easy way, especially if you're a beginner with video editing, this is a nice, easy way for you to combine your content together and make something that looks quite uh, professional, let's say. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.